Hey there. Hi there. Hello there. Gonna try and get straight to the point because I keep on babbling. So this week I'm drawing some reference things for an animation slash animatic that I really want to do, that I've been wanting to do for several years, based on Welcome to Night Vale and the song Na 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 by My Chemical Romance set during the Strix Corp invasion. And I could- I, I will take a- okay, I want to take a moment to talk about a little bit of why I want to do this because there's a certain episode that I listened to called Parade Day, and this was probably like the biggest episode for Night Vale for me that really just made me like stop everything I was doing and I was scared and I was sad and I was viscerally upset listening to Cecil talk because there were so many bad things happening at that time. I didn't want them to happen but they still happened anyway and I couldn't do anything about it and it sucked having to be just a listener in that moment. So if anybody listened to Night Vale and knows that moment, please, I am still upset. <laughs> <laughs> I know it turns out okay at the end, but gosh dang that whole that whole lead up to the the weather and right after the weather was just so good. Anyway, uh, these are gonna be reference pictures that I'll use for just doing like general stuff because I want to make sure that I have a consistent design for Cecil because for me, like, for everybody, Cecil is whoever they want them to be, and Cecil, for me, is a small boy who dresses weirdly, but because of Strex, he has to dress in a very specific way that fits Strex's idea of what they want, so that's gonna be a huge part of, like, a transition. I don't think his everyday outfit's gonna come up too often, but who knows. I do also have to draw a couple other characters. For this one, I'm only going to do Cecil and Carlos because they are going to be pretty main. And then next week- oh, I forgot I have to also do that. Uh, next week, I'll probably do the Strex guys, so that would be Lauren, Kevin, and then either- I'm gonna either go with Charles or I might do an OC, Jose, because at the time, Charles did not exist. So this is just an implied character that a lot of us all had different ideas and I came up with my own version of a Carlos double, so yeah. <laughs> that was a really weird time, honestly. That feels a fun time. It's weird to have it like develop and watch it develop after so many years. I have like all the books except for the last two. And I haven't gotten face this old woman, but I wanna get that. Anyway, um I'm hopefully gonna get that done. And then after that, I still need to draw Tamika and Dana and some other just random Night Valians that should or could possibly appear. I don't know, you know, John Peters, the farmer, or Steve Carlsberg, because Steve Carlsberg is actually pretty important, and Janice. Man, there's a lot of characters that I gotta have like character reference sheets for. It's fine. But I really want to make this like a really nice animation slash animatic because it was my favorite arc in all of Night Vale. I still like Night Vale. It's still something that I follow, but I am kind of at that point where I listen to it in chunks. So I'll miss a couple of months and then I'll listen. I'll miss a couple of months and then I'll listen. And usually when I do that, it's easy for me to get right back into Night Vale because it's such a weird and interesting place. And also, originally this was going to be a music cosplay video and that would have been really fun. And I had all these ideas. I had it scripted. I had it perfectly timed out. I knew exactly what I wanted for each moment, but I would have to both direct and be Cecil and Kevin because I wanted to play both of the doubles and I'd have to have a friend of mine be both um, Carlos and either Jose or Charles or whoever he's gonna be. And then I have to do- I'd have to have a Lauren, I'd have to have a Tamika, and I didn't have enough people. I'm thinking maybe if I can get this done well enough, I could convince a couple of other people that I know that do costuming and are really amazing costumers. Um, I wouldn't cos call them cosplayers. I know a couple of drag kings who are really, really great, and I'm friends with one of them, and I'm working to be friends with the other. <laughs> I'm really bad at talking to people, but I really want to include them because I think if I could get them to be my replacement for Kevin and Cecil, um, cause I think my friend would be great for that role. I think she could do a great job. Uh, so, 
that's that was all that. But if it doesn't even turn into that, that's fine. I have a sequel idea I, in he my head. I've had it very strongly. It's just like an idea that as I thought more about it, the more I wanted to do it. And it would have been just a Cecil thing, a standalone, but it would still take place during Strix Corp. The thing is that time went on and Strix Corp was passed and the whole arc is pretty much finished. Like the Smiling God is gone. Kevin's in another desert. All that jazz. Sorry for spoilers, <laughs> but all that stuff has been moved on and no longer needed, so I figured I should just let it go, but the idea still is super strong in my head and I just want to get it out, so I figured might as well just turn it into an animation or an animatic or something so that I could look at it and be proud of it. I also have another thing that I could post just as like a thing to buffer between like me working on stuff. I have to change the audio because when I uh, approached the person, they said no, so I had already done all the things before I'd asked. Pro tip, ask first, then make things. Um, but you have, I have to figure out a way to, or I might, I kind of want to post something. Someone had seen it and I didn't realize that it was like visible because I put it into a playlist but it wasn't supposed to be something that anybody could see but I might just re-upload it as a thing. I don't have any of the things from it originally <laughs> so it would just have to be uploaded as it is. It was an old Overwatch thing. I'm half into Overwatch, half not. There's very specific characters that I'm very attached to and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine that I'm attached to them. I have a lot of things that I relate to, but it's fine. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this. I'm gonna cut out a lot of this probably, so some of this might not make sense. That's fine. I'll fix it, I think, in post. It's okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you'll stick around to see me finish this project. Eventually. <laughs>